Hello. Happy freaking new year. I know that, you know, it's kind of been the new year for a whole month at this point, but she is just surviving the first month, I guess. Today we're gonna be talking about my trend predictions for 2023. I have them all written down in my little notebook. I have been avoiding watching, reading, anything else of other people predicting trends for this upcoming year. So I'm excited to finally film this so that I can go watch everybody else's videos and see what they have to say. Oh my goodness, I was gonna say let's just hop right into it, but how rude of me to not introduce myself. My name is Casey, if you don't know me. I love fashion, I love anything pink, anything girly, as you can see. Anyways, with that being said, let's take a peek. I wrote this trend prediction list on the 8th of January, so it'll be really interesting to look back on this and see how accurate it was. The first thing I have on my list are two colors. Two colors that maybe for some people might bring back some questionable memories. The first color is mint green. <laughs> I remember being obsessed with mint green. That Essie nail polish, it was something called like mint candy apple. You know the one. We are bringing back mint. I can see it happening already. I've seen mint on a few runways recently. My other color prediction is coral. Mint green and coral kind of go hand in hand. If you were there for the mint craze, you were there for the coral phase, baby. A lot of these are going to be kind of 2010s inspired. Moving on from my color predictions, next I have capris slash skinny jeans. I know what you're thinking. Please, no. I kind of agree with you. I tried styling skinny jeans the other day, and honestly, I had a really hard time. It didn't go so well. I think the outfit turned out all right. When I was styling, I was throwing lots of clothes on the ground, trying out lots of options, and hating all of them. I will be trying again. I do have another pair of skinny jeans that fit really gorgeously, so I'm gonna see what I can do with those. Once again, I have capris on here as well. I do have a pair of skinny capris, which I'll definitely be styling this spring. Okay, next I have flats, ballet flats. You've already seen them. They're starting to come back for sure. I just thrifted a really cute pair. Look how cute these are. Are these mint green? If, if you consider these mint green, how crazy of a trend predictor I am that I picked up some mint green ballet flats from the thrift. I was browsing on Urban Outfitters the other day though and I saw these gorgeous Jeffrey Campbell ballet flats. They were really like industrial and maybe not as feminine as you would expect from the traditional ballet flat, but I'm really excited to see where this trend kind of goes because I'm accustomed to wearing big chunky shoes, especially with a heel. Another thing I saw tons of on recent runways is leather. Most of the time faux leather, but leather, leather, leather. I am also a big fan of leather. I prefer faux leather to real leather, but if I am picking up real leather, it's going to be from the thrift, it's gonna be used, it's gonna be sustainable. I am not picking up any brand new leather jackets, absolutely not. Leather is one of those things, pretty timeless, but I think we'll be seeing a lot of it used in more creative ways this year than we have seen in past years. I'm talking leather skirts, leather tops, of course leather jackets, we always see leather boots. The next thing on my list, I have a lot of reasoning behind it. I have seen a couple people on the internet saying that minimalism is in, maximalism is dead, but I don't think maximalism is going anywhere. Are you kidding me? Do you know what movies we have coming out this year? We have the Barbie movie. Do you see how that girl dresses? I am predicting everybody is going to be basing their wardrobe after Barbie, especially because Margot Robbie is playing Barbie. And I was doing some research about what movies are coming out this year. We have a Legally Blonde movie coming out this year. Barbie, Legally Blonde, Hello, Pink Maximalism is here to stay, baby. We even have a new Wonka movie 
coming out, which I'm assuming is gonna be like a Willy Wonka origin story. I think Timothy Chalamet is gonna be playing Willy Wonka. But even that is on the more quirky, maximalist vibe. I have a couple other things on here that I don't know exactly what I was talking about because I did write this on the 8th and it's now the 29th. I think based on what I just said about maximalism, I wrote down pink and playful dressing. Very much involved with the Legally Blonde Barbie vibes. I can't believe we're getting a Barbie movie and a Legally Blonde movie within the same year. I wrote cancel loungewear question mark. Loungewear isn't going anywhere, but I think maximalism over minimalism for sure. Utility dressing. Once again, I don't know what this means. I think we're gonna see more of the utility dressing with more feminine touches like the ballet flats and other ballet motifs, of course. The ballet core aesthetic is going nowhere. And one last thing I wrote down was shoulder pads. I am unsure if shoulder pads will ever make their return, but you will know I will be wearing my shoulder pads. I love shoulder pads. They're definitely not for everyone. Very 80s. I think 80s fashion in general is going to be huge this year. I didn't write that down. I've been obsessed with 80s fashion. I just thrifted a super cool pair of acid wash jeans. Definitely authentic from the 80s. So excited to style those. But I think shoulder pads just add a really cool detail to the silhouette. Just a little something extra here. That's everything that I wrote down in my trend prediction list. I'm on my way to go watch Modern Girls video. I have been impatiently waiting. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know what your trend predictions are for this year. Please comment below. Let me know what you think. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Let's chat about it. I will see you next time. I love you. Mm -hmm.